Time to post another video. Um, I just got a shower. Cold, really cold. But I'm gonna do another poem out of the Explorations, an anthology of literature book. It's volume two, I think. So if you want to get your get a book like this, then you there you go. Um, today I'm gonna to be doing poop. To, uh, two poems so I hope you like first poem we're starting off with the ink cape rock the inch cape rock by Robert S Southey no stir in the air no stir in the sea the ship was as still as she could be her sails from heaven received no motion her keel was steady in the ocean Without either sign or sound of their shock, the waves flowed over the inch cape rock. So little they rose, so little they fell. They did not move the inch cape bell. The good old abbot of Aberthock had placed that bell on the inch cape rock. On a buoy in the storm it floated and swung, and over the waves its warning rung. When the rock was hid by the surge's swell, the, mar the mariners heard the warning bell. And then they knew the perilous rock and blessed the abbot of Aberbrothock. The sun in heaven was shining gay. All things were joyful on that day. The seabirds screamed and they wheeled around and there was joyance in their sound. The boy at the inch cape bell was seen, a darker spot on the ocean green. Sir Ralph the rover walked his deck, and he fixed his eye on the darker speck. He felt the cheering power of spring, it made him whistle, it made him sing. His heart was mirthful to access, but the rover's mirth was wickedness. His eyes was on the inch cape float, quoth he, my men, put out the boat. And roll me to the inch cape rock, and I'll plague the abbot of Aberthock. The boat is lowered, the boatmen row, and to the inch cape rock they go. So Ralph bent over from the boat, and he cut the bell from the inch cape float. Down sank the bell with a gurgling sound, the bubbles rose and burst around. Quoth Sir Ralph, the next who comes to the rock won't bless the abbot of Aberthock. So Ralph the rover sailed away, he scored the seas for many a day. And now grown rich with plundered store, he steers his course for Scotland's shore. So thick a haze overspreads the sky, they cannot see the sun on high. The wind hath blown a gale all day, at evening it hath died away. On the deck the rover takes his stand, so dark it is they see no land. Close to Ralph. It will be lighter soon, for there is the dawn of the rising moon. Canst hear, said one, the breakers roar. Methinks we should be near the shore. Now where we are I cannot tell, but I wish I could hear the inch cape bell. They hear no sound, the swell is strong. Through, though the wind hath fallen, they drift along. Till the vessel strikes with a shivering shot full of the ledge of the inch cape rock. So Ralph the rover tore his hair, he cursed himself in the, his despair. The waves rush in on every side, ship is sinking beneath the tide. Well, that's the end of this video, I'll see you in the next.